Hello and welcome back to yet another travel vlog here on the Pad the Nomad channel. You join me alongside some beautiful rice fields just outside the city of Ubud. This is going to be my second video here in Bali, focused solely upon Ubud itself because after I arrived I realised there was so much to do and so much I wanted to see. I'm going to take a small hike through this rice field here, take in the fresh air because as you can probably hear on my voice, I've got a bit of a blocked nose and an achy throat, a little bit of a flu symptom coming on. I've been very busy, it happens, but the best medicine is fresh air alongside a lot of ibuprofen and paracetamol, but mainly the fresh air. We're going to make the most of nature's beautiful medicine, take a small hike through these beautiful fields and head back down into the town. We'll explore some of the markets, etc., and maybe a couple temples before heading out to the far side for the monkey forest, something that is very famous here in Ubud. And I'm going to hope to be able to take some videos and pictures of monkeys without them stealing my sunglasses or this camera that I'm recording with right now. So I'm going to put you down. I'm going to enjoy the sunshine and the wind, and I shall see you in a bit. <laughs> Now then inside the monkey forest the price is now 80,000 to come in or pay the price because some people got to get paid to help keep this place look as stunning as it does and keep the monkeys fed so that they don't steal everything that I own so yeah let's take a nice hike for the next hour or two through this wonderful forest see some monkeys and just generally have a smile on the face Maybe we're closer to monkeys than we think. We've just spent the last two minutes watching this guy clean his uh, male parts, just in front of everyone. You know? Male monkeys and male men, pretty similar. Ah. <laughs> That's what he was cleaning for. <laughs>
I've spent about one hour walking around and I've done basically everything. Um, it's a really nice place for the temples and stuff, obviously are a Hindu religious site. Through their religious protection have created an amazing garden that we've been walking through. It's home to, obviously, monkeys for them to thrive in. I'm gonna head back out of this place. I've seen what I've seen because I need some lunch. It's getting to 3 p.m. now and I'm starving. So let's go and I'll see you with some food. Another day then out here in Ubud Bali, we've hired the Honda Scoopy, our favorite scooter, and we've come out to Turta Empul. Now this is one of the more famous temples, Hindu temples here in Ubud, because it has fresh spring water that uh, comes up from the ground, very clean and is considered holy. And so later on today, as we go around this beautiful temple, you're going to see people bathing within the pool. And hopefully, I've got the swimmers on, we'll get to go in, do some cleansing and some, some cleaning as well. Maybe, just maybe, someone can get rid of this cold for me. <laughs> so without further ado, let's head in, see what we can find. to run this time. Not quite my colour. As you can probably see from my hair, I have been through the ritual bath. The whole idea behind it is that this water comes from the mountains, from nature. So you're asking for blessings from nature, from the gods, but also nature. For me, religion, how you feel at home, your own relationship with religion. Um, I was raised a certain way, carry myself in a certain way. I love the idea of a higher power and to give blessings and astral blessings from nature, from the fresh spring water, was something I really enjoyed. Asked a few things of me, offered how I would better myself is one of the things I like about religions, is it leads people to better themselves. Uh, and this cleaning and washing thing here, is you wash away anything bad, any bad feelings, uh, and ask for guidance towards uh, a better and a higher goal. So it was definitely a lovely experience. I feel really good right now. And all my family and friends at home um, should be feeling pretty blessed because I asked a little bit for every single one of you. Love to you all. Heading out of the temple now then, and I think I'm gonna head towards a waterfall, um, a non-religious spout of water that I want to go and stick my head underneath. Yeah, we've made it down to the waterfall, come to the Kanto Lampo waterfall. There's a queue of around 60 people waiting, and by the looks of things, you can't take your own photos. There's guys down there doing it for like full photo shoots for everyone. Uh, it's just not my cup of tea. Instead, I'm having a cup of barley coffee, one of my favorites. Ordered a pizza because I actually have a wood fired oven here in the Campo Lampo Wadong. I'm glad that I took a dip 
at the temple um, because I'm not going to go in at this waterfall. Maybe I'll head to another one, I don't know, but for now I'm just going to enjoy this jungle view and some food. We're inside the Goa Gaja cave, uh, otherwise known as the Elephant Cave. It is a cave inside this carving back here that is known for its meditation. Again, we're in another sarong. It's been a beautiful day of sarongs, so let's head in and see what we can find. <music> So the cave itself, the elephant cave, wasn't all that I was expecting. Very small little area, very damp and horrible. Then I've come through the jungle uh, towards the Buddha cave, as it was signposted. But that has just been a continuous path till I found some steps I've come up. Although I think I might have walked into someone's house because this is the end of the steps. Yeah, definitely think I went the wrong way then, eh? Back that way we go. So after all that additional hiking, I've ended up, I've already seen this. So yeah, I've basically just done a lap of the jungle and ended up where I was 10 minutes ago. <laughs> right, let's see if I can actually find my way out of this place now. Yesterday evening then, having got back from the Elephant Cave Temple, I headed to meet some friends and walk along the Kampuhan Trail Walk for a beautiful sunset. And then today, nice relaxing one, bit of lunch here at Green Kubu, really nice. Maybe 10 minutes north from the centre of town, really recommend it, not that many people come, good price, and as you can see, a beautiful scenery inside the rice fields. Just a perfect way to end my time in Ubud. Uh, my favorite place, I think, on Bali in terms of culture. But you really get a sense of the Balinese culture, uh, the religion, the art, the craftsmanship. I couldn't recommend this place more. So if you've enjoyed this video, enjoyed what you've seen, please leave a like and subscribe, help me out. And I shall see you in the next video on Java. Goodbye. Yes.